little while. I just haven't really got myself together. It's now the beginning of September. Well, it's five days into September, but it. I just haven't really got sorted. It's I don't know the way that my mind works. It's like in little little categories, little sections. It's like I have to get over the one section before I can deal with other things. So I've had to wait until the end of August, the end of that period of my life, so that I can get on with stuff. I know it's mad, but that's just the way my mind works. I think I might be slightly mentally unbalanced or something. I don't think that's going to be a surprise to anyone. It's just the way my mind works. I just don't know whether I've always been like that. So there you go. I can remember things from way back. But I can't do things until a certain time. It's just routine, weird routine. Oh, that—that's one thing I noticed when I was up in. I—I—I uh, I, uh, I tend to do things, and I can do a routine forever and ever and ever. But if the slightest thing changes in the things that I've been doing exactly the same, the slightest thing changes. It's, that's it. That's it. That's abandoned. I start another routine, and I do that thing until something goes wrong. Tiniest little thing. It's just frustrating but I can carry on doing the same thing for practically ever if nothing gets in the way of the, the little that's what I do I just can't help myself it's a bit odd one thing I noticed today is uh, kittens and puppies I didn't notice kittens and puppies well I did notice kittens and puppies toilet tissue why do they put kittens and puppies on toilet tissue I'm sure I must have noticed this in the past, I'm sure many people have noticed this in the past, but it's ridiculous because um, there's a cat here, hello cat, she probably won't want to, see she's lovely, but I wouldn't want to wipe my bottom with her, it would be quite horrible, in fact the thing about puppies and kittens is they are quite unhygienic really when you get down to it, and I'm not entirely sure, I know it's supposed to be like they're soft and fluffy, and the toilet tissue is soft and fluffy but really the association not really I wouldn't do that if I was going to market some toilet tissue I think of something clean like uh, I can't think of any not an animal for sure yes I've been now uh, writing the last couple of days and my, I'm not used to it's so long since I've done any proper writing because usually I've just got the little pad on my. I'm just using these fingers, but I've. Oh, these are so, and I've got very silly little tiny little fingers. They're not. They're little stubby little fingers, so it's quite difficult. Yeah, it's like spider, isn't it? Yes. So that's quite a strain. I haven't really been writing a lot, but I'm creeping me out now. Sorry. I'm sorry if I'm creeping other people out. Alright, so this is me back in my flat talking more nonsense because I can't think of anything else. But hopefully I'll come back and I'll be on form again really soon. Maybe. Okay, bye bye. I've just gone on what I thought when I was doing it, it was a mental shopping spree. Mental. I spent £13.50. Do you want to see what I got? I got a silvery candlestick thing. Two packets of washing up liquid. Three books. Some matches. A thing. A lint thing for removing cat hair and rubbish from sofas. Four linen flavoured scented candles. A puppet. A kitten. A collector's edition Gund Winnie the Pooh bear thing. And a big load of candles for the candlestick that's actually uh, 12 candles so um, yeah probably shouldn't have spent £13.50 but then again it's only £13.50 that's what you get from going to pound shops and Oxfam I would recommend the charities anyway so that's good because I've got uh, gifts for people now 
I hope my mum and my uh, nephew don't see this because that is ruining the gifts. They don't look at my videos anyway. Okay, that's all I had to say. <laughs>